So I've been retained as a lecturer at the at the Bielsa State University where I served. You accepted? Of course I did. Why'd you ask? You have the first class piece. I just think you can do better. It's nothing bad. It's not that bad. I have bread is better than none. <laughs> Yes. After my master's, I'm um, sure I'll be promoted to a senior lecturer. That would be nice. I'd like that. Mm. Everything about you is just going perfectly. Thank God. And you? Mm. Mine isn't that perfect. I, I want to be a big designer. I have my own fashion show. Just to do it on TV. By God's grace. But finances, peace. I need money to start, and I'm certain my parents will never help me. God will help me, okay? Yeah. He will. Ah, it's a welcome again. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to retain you after the service. I'm telling you, Daddy. Man is a daughter to be proud of any day, any time. That's true. That is true. Look at my restaurant. Oh. Oh, um, Daddy, this is your own instruction. This is very nice. Thank you. Yeah, but how does a youth copper has money to buy all these expensive things? Yes. You forgot I told you I want the best copper bank out of the year in my bank. And whenever you win that, the bank takes you shopping. So I said to myself, why well, shop for myself when I can shop for my parents who made this happen for me? Oh. <laughs> you see, darling. A good daughter remembers her parents or parents. Yes, yes, yes. And the Lord will continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you, my dear. The whole time and shirt are also for you. <laughs> Mommy, this is yours. I put it because of the sign. It's so beautiful. It's <laughs> so beautiful. What is this for me? Oh, my God. My God. Ma, I don't believe it. She single handedly paid for a shop? Yes. A man must be sponsoring her job. No. There's no man supporting her. Would you have you forgotten? And came and peace and not like us. They're not. That's true. But uh, look at this dress of mine. Mm -hmm. She made this dress. She did? Yes. I mean, I, I don't know what her intentions are. But it's obvious she isn't aiming big. She's just contented with where she is or what she has. He came made this dress. Yes, she did. Question. <sighs> Anyways, I came here to know what your plans are. You have a teaching job now. Are you going to keep it? God forbid. Teaching, I hate that job. They be peanuts. By the way, who am I teaching? Not with two peoples? <laughs> Man, you're the luckiest. You're a banker. Would you trust me? It's not as easy as you see. I had to pay through my nose to be where I am today. How much did you pay? Don't be so dumb, would you? I had to sleep with all the camp officials so they could post me to a bank. I know. And I see if that's not enough. The bank wanted to know how hardworking I am. So I had to prove myself. They gave me a target of 50 million. And guess what, girl? I took back 83 million to the bank. Go, girl! You're the best! Then I got promoted, and I was the envy of both my fellow coppers and the permanent staff. Mm -hmm. The point is, Uju, I'm not happy with the kind of life we lived back then in school. Neither am I happy with the kind of things I do now. Me too. The only saving grace is that I have a job and I get paid. So I want to know. I mean, since you're not comfortable with your teaching job, would you want to join me in Abuja? Abuja! <laughs> Girlfriend, I'm ready! Oh, I almost broke my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Abuja, we are come. Give the orange. No way, I'm not this stuff. Give the orange. Give the orange for this stuff. Feel it. Now we're going to Abuja with you. Oh, 
whatever your name is. This will be my last warning to you. As far as this bank is concerned, I, my dear, I'm the head of the marketing team. You certainly will remain there, my dear. Listen, young lady, a close look at the two of us tells who the boss is. Therefore, I advise you to use your brain well and comport your body well. You don't have to flaunt your body whenever we go for marketing or rattle your thong as though others with you are insignificant. <laughs> Be careful, girl. I'm sorry, darling. I look before me and I don't see a boss. All I see is a cow in a suit. Sweetie pie, don't bother yourself unnecessarily. I have it all, the three Bs. Beauty, the brains, and the body. I don't have to work up myself unnecessary or feel threatened. I tell you what, I have got something you certainly, <laughs> most certainly will never have. Worry less and get off my face. <laughs> Watch your back, bitch. That girl will do. Why? Have you forgotten? I do banking. I mean, there's literally nothing I can do. But what that girl did is an eye opener for me. I mean, I said to calm down, but now I am going to give it to them as they want it. Go, girl. Give it to them real good. I'm solidly behind you. <laughs> well, come on. Me, I just the roast for us. I did chop. I just the fat. I need to do something. Open me up now. Mm -mm. Uju, don't complain. Don't complain, because I told you I wanted to fix you up, and you said no. No, I don't know if you do that one. I'm scared. How else am I supposed to fix you up if you don't want a forged certificate so you can work? What if they find out? Nothing is going to happen. Man, no, I can't do it. All I want to do now is just to get married. Yeah, you're a very big boy. Are you out of your mind? What? Marriage is not in my agenda now. I don't want any distractions. I beg. Marriage will do your diary. Because now you go hook me up with a very loaded big boy that has a fat bank account. For your bank? No. You are so disgusting. No, baby, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Forget it. This is not make sense. Forget it! How are you today? Mm. Baby, how are you doing? I'm not fine. And it's because of Bosse. Bosse? My Bosse. There you go again. Bosse? My own Bosse? Your Bosse? Tell me, what is it she does that I can't do or that I don't do? What is it? Baby, what happened? Tell me, what happened? Well, your priceless Bosse insulted me. What? Insulted you? What happened? Tell me. Jealousy of us. Jealousy? Yes. I mean, with everything she was saying, it was obvious. She was jealous. Pure jealousy. Yeah. It happened when we returned from Chief Kumkum's office. She practically accused me of seducing all our customers. What? Anyways, that is not my problem now. I mean, that's the least of my problems. You know my problem? I want her position. No, 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 beauty, beauty, you see, um, um, and this I don't care why, I don't care how, I want her position and I must get it, okay? I mean, we are judged by our financial impute and my impute is far higher than hers since my seven year. You're either giving me her position or I'll sue her for us. No, no, beauty, 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 that, that's a lie. You only told me she insulted me. Well, she also assaulted me. Dragging my hair, spitting in my face, spits. That is assault, sir. Filing a report of assault in my own branch, you know what that means? But that, that's, that, that's going too far. No, you should have thought about that before making certain decisions that you made. If you don't give me her position, 
I certainly will sue for assault in your branch. Okay, okay, good, good and fine. I, I'll see what I can do. And your darling, please do see what you can do. Sir, I'm sorry. I just wanted to caution her to conduct herself properly wherever we go for marketing. Mama here is threatened. She's threatened after what happened between the both of you. And you know what that means if it gets to book? I know, sir. So what do I do? You know exactly what you do. You have to step down. Sir? Yes. You know the rules here. If she files a report against you, which I know she's ready to do, owing to the fact that she has enough evidence to prove it, you either get queried or lose your promotion. The choice is yours. I'll step down, sir. Let me go get my files ready. What say you disappointed me? You disappointed me. Go, 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 go. Sorry, sir. So, what's your decision on the car with the white shirt? Beauty, please, please. Let's go. I'll talk to you in the evening, please. He's discharging me? I said I will get back to you. All right, sir. So, sir, this is the reason for the gathering of all these important personalities, of which you are the key personality. May I add in conclusion, sir, that if this new system of banking, this new approach is applied in this bank, it will certainly revolutionize and revive marketing entirely. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, thanks. That's okay. Uh, Mr. Falabi, do you have anything to say concerning what you just said? No, sir, the idea is okay. That's good. That's good. Good. Thank you, sir. Manager. Sir. I must congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Our financial report in the headquarters shows that you're doing very great. Thank you, sir. sir. I'm sure enough. Thank you, sir. And coupled with what I saw sir, you get today. Sir, sir, I must say that our marketing sector is doing a great job, sir. I see. Who was the lady that did the presentation? Oh, Miss Umadimba. Sir, she's the head of marketing team. Who oh, she is? Yes, sir. That was an intelligent performance I saw in there. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. She is. I would like to meet with her. It's not problem, sir. It's not problem, sir. Okay. That would be all. Not again. I mean, not again, Uju. I am just finished. But you ought to know better. I, it was just one night. And I forgot my tablet. Then you should have stopped him. Girl, you know how men are. He was persistent. Next time, you have to be more careful. That was the night I asked him to demote that bossy girl. And that was the price I had to pay. Oh, no, I see. So what are you going to do now? Get rid of it, of course. Again? After? Why? Oh, no. What do you mean, huh? It's not like I'm married, I'm about to get married. Besides, how could you forget the banking rule? Oh, that you can't get pregnant for a period of years? Thank you. See, like, nothing is gonna happen. It's just my fourth. Fourth? Mine is the third. It's Make you risky. Make you the third. Well, we're beginning to scare me. I mean, yes, yes, I, I do feel bad. I mean, who knows? A president might be among the, the things we're shedding out. But I, I don't have a choice. You have to be more careful. I'm serious. Seriously. Is this my destiny? destiny? Am I meant to fail? Is this my destiny? destiny? I can't take this anymore. Is this my destiny? destiny? 
Am I meant to fail? Is this my destiny? destiny. Oh God, hear my cry. Is this my destiny? It's heart trending, it's so hot to when you're trying all in vain. I've had no one, I've done no wrong. It's just me and my destiny. Oh no, oh yeah. I'm so So that's that's all we have, man. Honestly, my dear. When my friend told me about you and that you are her designer, I was a bit skeptical. But now I've seen for myself. My dear, you're really doing good for yourself. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, you, your job is so mwah. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> I told you, you've seen nothing yet. Yeah, you did. You did, for real, you did. My dear, to cut everything short, I'll be traveling to Abuja next Thursday for a serious Senate meeting and I'll be needing an exotic dress to wear. I want to stand out that day. Mm? And I'll be needing more of it anyway but for, because I'll be traveling to France in three weeks time. But that'll be when I come back from Abuja. We're going to discuss that. No problem, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Don't ma. I trust my girl. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, Let me quickly take your message. But please, don't stop my stuff. <laughs> Don't you think you should go to a place like Abuja or Lagos where you can be celebrated as a highly professional designer? I actually have that in mind, ma. But I want to be here for a while. You know, I was molded here. Mm. I started humbly here. And like the Bible says, you mustn't despise your humble beginning. I honestly want to be around to just motivate the upcoming girls. Just give them a reason to strive. And then I'll I'll think about Abuja. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> My dear, I admire your courage. A lot. Thank you, Ma. Let me okay. quickly take your measure. Right. Come on, let's take your measure. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look better than you do. Don't lie. Mm -hmm. My courage. <laughs> So are you saying you're not taking me seriously? No. I mean, of course not. Listen, Obi, I do take you seriously. But the question you just asked me is um, too sudden, I'd say. It's, it's just too sudden. Sudden? Hmm. Yes. I mean, you and I just met. And here you are, asking me to be your wife. Forget this long courtship thing. I'm a man of purpose. I go for what my heart yearns for. Mm -hmm. See, there's no perfect man or woman out there. But as you go into marriage, you now breeze up to tolerate, love and respect your spouse. You do sound convincing, Bobby. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I can't. I mean, we haven't known each other enough to say there's love between us. I love you. You said that. I fell in love with you the very first time I met you. Okay. Can I at least have time to think about this? Of course. But please, as you think, just bear in mind that I've not let you go. Because you're my gold. Okay. Thank you. Have you seen a gold that is my better half? <laughs> I will think about it. May I now? Thank you, Sean. It means thank you in German. <laughs> okay. Ma, you mean you turned down his proposal? What's wrong with you? The only problem you have in your life is that your brain. You believe you know all. Oju! 
I can't marry a man I don't know. Can you? Of course I can. Well, I'm not you. Whatever. I mean, I like to take my time in everything I do. Come on, girl. Marriage is not friendship where you move into them, move out tomorrow. I can't. Ma, I pity you. If you do not grab this opportunity, it will just slip away. And don't forget, it comes once in a lifetime. You lose it and you're finished. Oh my God, would you please? I mean, whatever happened to the maxim, all that glitters is not gold? That's your business, preach and pastor. Can I hear something more encouraging from you? Something positive at least? I don't have your time. You grab the opportunity or you lose it. So it's your life, not mine. Stronger than pride, stronger than pride, sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together, together we shall be. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um I honestly don't want you wondering why I first said no to your proposal. I really wish you'd understand why I said no. But I decided to give it a trial. Do you mean you decided to accept my proposal? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You made me a fulfilled man. But well, but um, Obi, please sit. I. I wish that we don't get married soon. I mean, I, I need to sort out some things like like family and work. I, I just need time. Okay, okay. Whatever it is that you need to make you get ready, please do. But bear in mind, I can't do without you. Promise? Sure, I love you. Just feel my heart, feel my heart. It will raise this for you. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. <laughs> Uju, are you serious? I've told you to stop asking me that question. Are you serious? Are you serious? I am dead serious. I'm in love with Okwen. I'm getting married to him. You are the one that is afraid of getting married. I am not. What are you saying? I introduced you to him a few weeks ago. And then he's taking you to his parents and then now you're about to get to your parents. Mm -mm -mm, point of correction. It's coming down to pay my bride price. You barely know him. And you barely know Obin Nachi. My case is different, Tao. Because you and I know a little bit about Obin now. We know he's from a wealthy family, quite popular. Despite the fact that he has done shortcomings. And you're getting married to him in the next two months. Uju, I don't even know this Okui guy, okay? I don't know him. But you told me you met him doing marketing. Yes, I meant I met him in a customer's office. He's not even a customer of our bank. So, doesn't matter. I love him. And I'm getting married to him. Uju, you have to take your time. You barely know him, it would be wrong for you to take such steps. Now is the nursery rhyme. You have to take your time. You barely know him, you don't have to take wrong steps. I'm cool with it. I'm in love. Can we change this topic, I beg? I don't want to fight you. Uju, I don't want to get mad at you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dalo Ibo. Uh. Dalo Ibo. Oh. Hi. Is that even a big? Nah. Even a big is that? Hi. You sure you even a big? You sure you even a big? Hi. 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 Oh, yeah, 
kalian. Lalu <laughs> lala. That's good. No. Oh, go ahead. No. Oh. Aye. Huh. Yeah. Huh. 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 Um, I have heard you, you know, as uh, traditional demands, you have to go and come back so that I will have time to meet with my kinsmen uh, concerning the debt and every other thing. Um, <laughs> you have spoken very well, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, well, we have saying thank you. Hmm? Mm. Thank you. Uh, Madam, you are saying thank you, yeah? Uh, <laughs> you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are we are asking you all these questions because we love you. We are your parents. I know, mommy. So please answer the question. What does Okudeli do for a living? He's into importation. He imports clothes from London. Really? Yes, daddy. He's even a graduate. Then why business instead of working? Daddy, must everybody work in an office? He's highly industrious. Why all these questions? You've not even told us how long you've known him. <sighs> mommy. Are you not the one always warning us not to go into long cut cheap? You said you didn't cut daddy for too long. And you both have been living happily together. You're right. But I could tell what he was doing at that time. Tell about his parents. I mean, their family background and all there is to know about him. See, mommy, he's responsible. He's a good guy, he's decent. Daddy, imagine a young guy in this generation wants to marry your daughter and he's not asking to sleep with her first. Unlike some guys out there that want to sleep with you, use you and dump you. Daddy, mommy, you both should be happy. All I can tell you is that my Okudili is a good guy. Your Okudili, a man you hardly know. How dare you! Excuse me? How dare you insult me? Are you out of your mind? We didn't want. Mommy, can't you hear insult me? Eh? All in the name of advice. Oh, good. If I brought on a poor guy, you all will be worried and start asking questions that you do right. Is he going to take care of you? Are you going to leave? Is he going to feed you? Now I'm here with a rich guy. And you all are questioning me. See, all I can tell you is that my husband is a good man. Did I hear you say husband? Yes, daddy. Didn't you take drinks from his people? Would you? Would you sit down? My daughter, Ibo ni Ibo. There are ways we do things in Ibo land. And there is this thing called Ijo I hope you know of it. Of course I do. That's why I went to Lagos to meet his people. Are you saying you've met with his family already? Yes, mommy. Even if he has been there, Okude is not from Lagos. He is from Okuzu. I have a friend who is an engineer. Who happens to come from Akuso? I will meet him so that both of us will go and inquire about this family. See, Dad, Mom, I'm tired of all this questioning. All I can say is that I must marry my Okudili. You must marry your Okudili. Even if madness runs in their family. Mommy, it is Okudili that I want to get married to and not his family. Excuse me. Ujuma, Ujuma, listen. listen. Mommy. Uju, you're beautiful. Thank you, my husband. And that is beautiful too. You know, I've been looking for a wife for a very long time. Not until your friend in mind introduced you to me. And deep down in me, I saw a wife in you. 
Oku Dile, you have a way of teasing me. Oju, I am not teasing you, okay? I am not teasing you. You see, that is why I, 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 I don't want this unnecessary delay on, in all this their courtship and the rest of them. I am serious. I am for real. Trust me. Okay. I forgot something. What? I forgot to ask what you do for a living. What do you do for a living? What do you surprise me? You really do surprise me. You didn't tell me. Did your parents ask? Exactly. And what did you tell them? Well, I just told them that um, you import clothes from London. You're right. You're right. You got everything right except for one thing. You missed something. Why import my goods from? And that is Italy. I just guessed. Because Ma told me that you're into importation, so... Yeah. That's good. So, um, when do you think your father is going to call? Next week. Are you sure? Yeah. Ajo. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you so, so much. I truly love you too. Can I have a surprise for you? Surprise? I love surprises. Tell me. When we're done with our lunch, then I'll take you. Okay, I can't wait. I lost my Not Stronger than pride, stronger than pride, thicker than water, thicker than water. We are together, together we shall be. No going back. Be no going back, no going back, no looking down, no looking down. And I will love you till the end of time. One of the reasons that I live, the only one for me. The reason I am not feeling alone. I will live and die for you. Ma. Ma. Juma here is your best friend, right? Yes, Ma. That means you know all that goes on in her life. Mommy, what is it again? A panel of inquiry? You know my husband is coming to pay my bride price this weekend. And I've been running up and down. I'm so tired, Mommy. It's past 11 p.m. I need to go to bed. Do you understand my last question? Yes, yes, I, I, I do, Ma. I presume you are aware of the activities going on between Ma and Okudle. Yes. I also want to believe that she told you Okudle was once married. What? Married? Yes. According to the story we heard, Okudle's ex-wife was kidnapped and killed a few days to their wedding. My God. What's all this surprise on your faces? Are you trying to tell me you're not aware that Okudili was once married? <laughs> Ma, you're not aware. I'm not aware. And you claim he loves you so much. I wish he's not frogging Aya. But yet he didn't tell you anything. He forgot me. Well, that's all I have to say this night. <laughs> Good night. You came there. Huh? My main reason of asking you to get those materials yourself and choosing the stars was just for me to know how professional you are. Honestly, my dear, you are too much. Mm. My dear, believe you me, this girl came out with an excellent job. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. 
I must say it was an honor offering my service to you. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you, ma. And I I mustn't forget to say thank you for the things you gave to me when you traveled. Oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing, my dear. As a matter of fact, I have something for you. An international magazine on fashion that is going to help you bring out your skill more. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. I know when you get it. <laughs> Believe me, I know what you can give to me. Just a second. Let me know what. You can score for price. Hey, hey, Sharas, look at you. Okay. Oh, honey, thank you. Thank you. This card is a party for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, why don't you just open up to me? Why? Have you forgotten that we'll be spending the rest of our lives together? Would you admit this persistent? Of course I am. My persistence made my parents to accept you. That's why they know that you have an ex-wife. They know? They know? You're asking me? Oh, so you've not been listening to what I've been saying? Okay. Okay. Just pulling those acts. Pulling acts? Why? Just to warn you off. Okay. Why do you need to warn me off? Okay, your silence is beginning to drain my strength. first love. We got married and we thought it was going to be rosy forever. But, but the wickedness of this world would not let us be. One day I came back from the office. Immediately I got home. I had a distress call. I shook the foundation of my life till day to June. Do, do you know I still find it very difficult to pick calls? Especially calls with unknown numbers. Because that was the same number that called me and told me. Sir had been kidnapped. Oh my God. The police did ransom up on her and told me never to contact the police. Did you contact the police? No, I didn't. And, and that is one thing I... I regret till it. Why? After paying the ransom, they this, still this killed. They still killed Sarah. Oh my God! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, please. I'm here for you now. Okay. You know this world is wicked. People are wicked. They couldn't. They couldn't even release their cops to me. Just they let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> 
Oh, no. so okay, it's okay. Oh, okay it's I'm okay. here for you now. Over nothing. Exactly. Obina loves you, and that settles it. Can you can you stop saying that? Can you stop saying that? Obina loves you, and that settles. Stop stop saying that. Okay, he doesn't. Okay. This guy and I get married in two weeks, and I am living a lie. Think, Ojo. Okay, it's okay. Stop shouting. Thank God, no, you're very reasonable. Let's reason something out. Thank God you've chosen to be reasonable. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Few weeks to my wedding, everything seems to be going well, and then. My past begins to haunt me. I keep telling you past is past, remember? Let me just think. Don't... Why don't you just resign? Resign? Are you, are you out of your mind? I mean, how do you reason? How can you ask me to resign? I mean, they only made me permanent staff not long ago because of Obina. Are you asking me to resign? Come on, girl, it's going to be suspicious, extremely suspicious. I don't know what to say again. I don't know. Oh God, now you are going to scrutinize my certificate. Oh, they have your originals already? These things take time. Okay, how much time? Say six months or a year. Beautiful. We have enough time to tell Obina the truth and he'll forgive you. How did I meet you? I mean, how did we become friends with your style of reasoning? Let me tell you what Obina's submission will be. He is going to say that I am a liar, a thief, a criminal. Okay, 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 don't do. Let's put this topic aside. Let's concentrate on your wedding. The wedding plans. I'm trying, Ujo, I, I can't think. I, I don't know. Oh my God. See, Simma, I will stand up, oh. I don't want to talk about this again. Tim will tell. Once you guys are wedded, you tell him the truth. He will chase you out. Let's talk about the wedding plans, the paparazzi, what we will go do, everything, the shopping, the weekly runs. The cocoa man. What? Don't, don't drink, don't drink. I think don't you're crazy, you man. Drink. No, don't no, walk away. Don't go. No. I'm going to miss you. I swear. Yeah. I'm going to miss you too. And you're going for our own thing. I know. You just take good care of yourself for me. I will you too. Yes, man. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. Why are you always doing this? Yes, we agreed on no sex before marriage, but a kiss to say goodbye is not harmful. Ojo, I truly love you. <laughs> and I love you too. What a man loves, he preserves not violate. You're not violating me. Kissing me goodbye is no violation. I know, but we're going to get married soon. So this premarital sex will not help us, okay? After the <sighs> wedding, we're going to have enough sex, okay? I'm a crazy lover, trust me. Okay. Thanks. Bye. They didn't. Okwe was so heartbroken. You know he's soft hearted. He cried, wept like a baby. Yeah. Well, that must be a devastating experience. It was. I wonder how they managed how he managed to pull through. I wonder. Would you mind? Yes, mommy. Please. Please be prayerful. Mommy, I pray. I pray. I know you do. Ujumwa, marriage preparation, even marriage itself, comes with a lot of temptation. Especially this one that your husband and wife died mysteriously. Mommy, such will never ever be my portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Your mother is right, Ujumwa. What about Okwe's prayer life? Oh, Daddy, Okwe, he prays like fire. He's a prayer warrior. <laughs> if he starts to pray fire, fall, die. 
Oh yeah, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Oh, <laughs> to move to somewhere. Oh, you're not very courageous. Honestly, I'm impressed. Uduma, yes, ma'am. If not that you're leaving tomorrow morning, I would have loved you to follow me to see Pastor Gabriel for prayers. Oh, mommy, I would have loved to go. But you know, Mama's traditional wedding is next week. And I'm a maid of honor. She really needs my help. Uduma. Yes, ma'am. Uduma, ma'am, please add more vigor to your prayers. Mom, we pray. We pray like fire, my husband and I, when we start like this, the Holy Spirit will come. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm serious though. Let me put that myself. Okay. Oh, <laughs> stronger than pride, stronger than pride, sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together, together we shall be. No going back, no going back, no looking down, no looking down. And I will love you till the end of time. Stronger than pride, stronger than pride, thicker than water, thicker than water. We are together, together we shall be. No going back, no going back, no looking down. of time one of the reasons that I live the only one for me the reason I am not feeling alone I will live and die for you do anything for you anytime you need me I'll be there stronger than pride stronger than pride Sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together, together we shall be. No going back, no going back, no looking down, no looking down. And I will love you till the end of time. Stronger than pride, stronger than pride. Sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together. Together we shall be No going back No going back No looking down No looking down And I will love you till the end of time She called me yesterday and she, she told me she was on her way to Portacot. Well, she told me the same thing too. As I didn't see her, I thought she would be with you. I tried her number, I called her all through last night and she didn't speak. No, she's she's not with me. But let me let me try her number. That's odd. I'm here with Okui and we're really worried about you. We're wondering where you are. Please call me once you get this message, okay? Bye, girl. The same voicemail. The last time she called me, she told me they were already in Port Harcourt. I think um, a little to be precise. I now went for a business meeting. When I came out after 30 minutes, my phone was in silence and I saw her missed calls and, and this text message. I've been trying to reach you, but you're not taking your call. You said I should wait for you here that you pick me up. Please call me. I'm tired. I I don't understand. I, I don't understand you. Huh? I don't. Okay. You know what? Let Let's just go to the park. Yeah. Huh? Let's go to the park and check.
Good sir. I've not seen or heard from my wife. Is she still with you at home? Oh, she left yesterday. I've not seen her, sir. In fact, I'm just coming from Emma's place and she's not there. Sir, where is my wife? Ah, Okudele, calm down. Um, let me speak with my wife and I will get back to you. Thank you, sir. says he needs rest. Quality rest. But what actually did he say is wrong with him? I just don't know. He just came back from work. A few minutes still complaining of feeling dizzy. The next minute he fainted. He rushed into the hospital. The doctor after reviving him said you should take him home that he just needs quality rest. Hey. Honey. Calm down. God is in control. He is going to be well. <laughs> what is all this? Empress is my daughter. Now is the husband. But I hope he'll be fine. I know he's going to be fine. Are you sure? Mommy, all he needs is rest. That's what the doctor said. I need my wife. I need what? I mean, where I need my wife? Uh, young man, calm down. This your shouting will do you no good. I don't care. I don't care. What is life supposed to mean without my wife? Commissioner, Listen. what is life supposed to mean without my wife? I want my wife back. Calm down, young man. Like I told you before, my men are out there working day and night. And I'm promising you in a no distant time, we are coming out with a result. I've heard that before. I've heard that several times. How many times, Commissioner? Listen to me. I'm telling you once again, we are not going to stop searching and there'll be no stone left unturned. Left unturned again. Please just call and say she will be joining us for this fasting and prayers. Oh, I just hope this whole thing will not distract her from writing her master degree exam. I don't think so. As a matter of fact, the situation at hand is more important than this exam. Okay. I'll be in the bedroom. I'll join you soon. Um, please, sir. Um, Commissioner, any new development, sir? Calm down, Mr. Okudeli. <sighs> Commissioner, my wife is missing and you're laughing at me and telling me to calm down? Please, calm down. It's okay. Okay. 
please take it easy. Um, I call all of you here today to speak to you directly to your faces, not on phone. I just have a few things to inquire from you, and then you can go. Then say what you want to say, please. We are listening. Say what you want to say. Say it. It's okay, my okay. Yeah, Sergeant. Uh, do it, eh? Commissioner, I am ready to pay any amount for you to find my wife. I know, Mr. Okudele. I saw your paid advertisement on television. Just that. Yes, Mr. Wife. I know. <clears throat> Mr. Okudele. Uh, Commissioner, with all due respect, sir, I... I beg to leave this minute. You can call on me when you Change what I'm wearing, maybe to a gown. I'm sure your uncle won't like to see me wearing this. Oh, uh, you don't have any problem. My uncle is an educated man. He lived all his life abroad, so he will get to understand. Okay. Yeah. All you need to do is just bundle your face a little. Alright, baby. Stronger than pride, stronger than pride, sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together. Together we shall be No going back No going back No looking down No looking down And I will love you Till the end of time Stronger than pride Stronger than pride Sticker than water Sticker than water We are together Together we shall be No going back of time One of the reasons that I live The only one for me The reason I am not feeling alone I will live and die for you Do anything for you Anytime you need me I'll be there Stronger than pride Stronger than pride Sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together, together we shall be. No going back, no going back, no looking down, no looking down. And I will love you till the end of time. Stronger than pride, stronger than pride. Sticker than water, sticker than water. We are together. 
I can't hold it more than I told you that we should pass the express. You Take insisted on passing this place. Hold eh? I can't hold it. Now you want to pull in the in the bush. Don't worry, let me just do it here. Here? Ah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. What here. if something bites you? Nothing will bite you. Oh, just make this. Oh, oh. God. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. You're shite stank. <laughs> I want to be what too. Time, You're shite stank. Baby, stop it. Ah, ah, stop it. Ah, ah, stop it. 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 Be calm. Who are you? I'm a victim like you. Victim? Yeah. How did you get here? My husband brought me here. Your husband? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. I met him six months ago. After he paid my bread price. I never knew that he's into cults. He tricked me and brought me here. And you? My husband brought me here too. Your husband? Yes. We were planning our wedding. He just paid my bride price last month. I don't understand what is happening. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. It's clear that my husband and yours are in the same cult that demands them to marry and kill for money. Cult, cult. How did you know all this? When he paid my bread price, I went to live in his house, which he initially objected before because he believed in chastity before wedding. Me too. When my husband paid my bride price, he never told me that I am his first wife. Father! Where are the others? She never knew how or when they disappeared. My husband's ex-wife also disappeared. And he said she was kidnapped. I'm going to see that commission to you. 
and if you give me all my liquids, I thank you for your grace, oh my God. Because it is by your grace that I am always still alive. And you will not fool me, Father, I thank you. Oh my sins of fornication. of your court and why? Commissioner, I do what I do for money. And, and to, to, to renew my to renew my membership in the court and to, to make more money. I must I must kill a woman and that woman must be my wife. Hey. So I must do everything possible to make sure I marry the woman. And you know in our culture it, it is only when you've paid a woman Right price that she becomes a wife, so I do everything I have to do. So you must kill all innocent girls just to renew your bloody money. No, no, I, I, I just have to do just, just five. Then the sixth one I can get married to her. Hey! How many of these innocent girls have you sacrificed? Just one. Sarah, my first wife. My God Almighty, forgive me. Then you want to make my daughter the second one? It will not be well with you. Before God's forgiveness, you must face the full rot of the law. Sergeant. Sir. Take this man away. Sir. Come on. Come on.
I saw him. I never knew I'll still be alive. I never knew God will forgive me and give me another chance. It's right. Stop crying. I mean, at least your life. That's enough to thank God for. I thought, I thought it was the end. But I've given my life to Christ. I want to serve Him. I want to evangelize. I want to spread the good news of Christ. And I'll start from my root, from my village. You want to evangelize? Ma, we have to stop the enmity. We must stop fighting our twin sisters. I regret all the wayward lifestyle I lead. Let's put a stop to this. God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for another child. God for another chance. Thank you, God, for another chance. It's all right. It's, it's all right. And it's staying what you are like. It's unbelievable, Julie. No one is unbelievable. Didn't you hear her say all to encounter? Are you believed her? Julie, you believed her? Tina. Hey! Why are you talking like that? Are you saying you don't believe her? No! I don't. And I will never ever believe her. Imagine you, Julie. A graduate leaving the city to go and stay in the village. Eh? Upon that, she said God sent her. And you are there telling me to believe her. I don't. And I will never ever believe her. San Samo, I won't. I believe her. Julie? Yes. Ha. At first, it bothered me. But later, I reasoned within myself. Ujumwa would have been a dead person. Onye <laughs> No, tell me. If such has happened, will I sit down here and debate whether I believe her or not? Julie, can't you see that your daughter's mind is not sound anymore? That whatever thing she encountered in that evil forest is still affecting her mind. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ujumwa is in her right senses. Please, take her to your pastor for deliverance. So. Thereafter, you will encourage her to register for master's degree program to upgrade her to class results. Thereafter, she will get a good job. Well, myself and my husband have decided to let her be. Tina, would you say she wants a new direction from God? That is the more reason why you, her parents, whom God has given the authority to take care of her, should help direct her. It is the parents' responsibilities to make their children be whatever they want them to be. If it was easy for you, you would have forced Unke. Is it not so? My dear, sometimes we can force them. But most times, especially when they are adults, we let them choose what they want to be. I don't have any problem with that as long as their choice is not evil. Just like Ujumwa has made her choice. And I think I'm okay with it. <sighs> Left for me or me, I would have loved her to be here in the city. Not have this business. Don't you mind, Mara? Okay, Ma. Why I asked you to come is because there is this uh, fashion competition coming up in France for amateur designers. So I applied on your behalf. And now they've replied me approving it. That means you are going to France. No. Yes. Hey! Ah, ah, Ma! 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 You're such a good girl. You're, you're good at what you're doing. I have to encourage you. I <laughs> did. Because. Um, yes, you're going to France. Oh, God. Thank you, Mother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Thank you very much. It's okay. You know what? Just sit down, my dear. Say it. You have to sit down. <laughs> Thank you so much, But I think I have a little problem. What is that? Do you speak French? No, ma. No. But, but my, my, 
My best friend speaks French fluently. Uh, because you really need somebody who speaks and understands French very well. That can go with you so that person will be able to interpret for you. Very well, ma. Then that's that to set. <gasps> oh. That oh. means um, I will send for them to send down two invitation letters for both of you. Oh. <laughs> My dear, it's nothing. That's the least I can do for you. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're too good at what you're doing. Thank you so much, Ma. It's all right. It's okay, my dear. It's all right. You're good. You're talented. Go and show them what you're capable of doing. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Come. What is this? This issue that I know it. Ah. Uh, it's our daughter who came here. She said she has an issue to discuss with us. What stupid issue? What would she tell us? Apart from that, stupid sewing nonsense that stopped her from going for her youth service. Daddy, let us hear her out now. Eh? Let's hear her out. Whatever. Eh, come here, Mommy, I'm sorry. I really am. I... I wanted to, to tell you that I... I'm going to be attending the Young Fashion Designers show. Did I say it? I said it! What would she say? She has nothing to tell us. Apart from sewing, doa doa, tell her. What else would she say? This girl. Nothing. Fallon, I don't like this one. I don't like what you are doing. Allow this girl to express herself now. Okay, Mama. Don't you ever, ever in your whole life, involve me. In that your stupid sewing nonsense. Daddy. Rubbish. Daddy. Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry yourself. You can always talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me anytime. Thank you, Daddy. My in-laws. I have come to tell you that I'm no longer interested in my marriage with your daughter. She's a liar. Everything about her is fake. Her education, her career. She deceived me with a series of her miscarriage. I later found out that your daughter cannot bear her own children because of the abortion she had in the past. Um, my son, I know you are angry right now. But see, the tongue and the teeth, they do fight, but they still live together. Whatever the issue is between the two of you, we can resolve it. Don't let us react in anger. And say things in anger. Let's resolve whatever it is. Let's think about it and we know how to resolve the issue between the two of you. I have carefully thought about this and my decision is final. If there is anything that can be done traditionally or otherwise, communicate to me for now. I beg to take that. Please stop. Stop it. Please stop. 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 Please it's still because in Kemal and Peace are traveling. Who stupid in Kemal are we talking about? Who's talking about the Kemal here? Please, Julie, don't add to my pains by mentioning their name now. My in law just left my house. What of your in law? Your first daughter's husband or mama's husband? Mama's husband. Please kill me. What happened? He said that she forged her university results. What? <laughs> and that she can't bear him children because of the numerous abortions she has done in the past. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Mama. He came to annul the marriage. Oh, that's killed me. God. That's a matter of fact. He said that the marriage is over. It's okay. It's oh. okay. It's not the end of the world. It is for me. Mama, my friend, 
my own bread. What am I going to do? I'm finished. I'm finished. It's okay. Hey! <laughs> Children of these days. First, it was a Jew. Now, it's a man. Both of them forged their results. Hey! Birds of a feather. Good evening, viewers. You're welcome to your favorite TV show, Fresh and Fabulous. I remain your host, Debbie Jo. Today we'll have a guest in the house, a very interesting one, trust me. A girl whose story is like that of the proverbial ugly duckling. She's moved from grass to grace, from a roadside tailor to an internationally recognized fashion designer. Isn't that great? <laughs> I am talking about no other person but the winner of the International Amateur Fashion Designers Competition. Please join me as we welcome Miss Inkemakmaka Zimba. You're welcome, Miss. Thank you very much. It's really nice having you here. Same here. I, I'm honored. Tell us, Mommy! how do you feel? Mommy! I feel great. I'm a success story, so I feel great. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really good. Now let's really go into knowing how the journey started. I mean the fashion design and thing. How did it all start? Did you really go to the university to study this? Um it started um when I got um <laughs> let me start from the root. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um it actually started when I couldn't pass my jam exams. Uh it was a very tough time because I was written off, you know. Um, then a very close friend of mine advised that I go for a part-time program and that was how I went for the CEP program which is part-time and I said to myself I couldn't while away my time you know doing nothing since I wasn't going to school all the time I had a flair for sewing and I still have a flair for sewing anything that had to do with clothes or you know tailoring so I said I was going to use my part-time to enhance or harness that talent which was what I did. So I went out in search of knowledge. Um, got to meet somebody who, a lady who owns um, a huge tailoring outfit. She makes designs and sells, you know. So I learned from her and then started mine. And, and hmm. then here I am. That's very interesting, you know. <laughs> I could learn under you, you know. <laughs> That's good. You know, you had so much time, you didn't want to waste it, mm -hmm. and you, you thought of doing something. That was very great. That was very you. smart of you. <laughs> now tell me, you went to France for this competition. I mean, you had uh, uh, African competitors and non-African competitors. How were you able to handle this? I mean, the crowd, I know how everything is going to look like. How were you able to manage yourself? It was healthy, so I liked it. We um, came together, all of us, Africans and non-Africans, merged, you know, to um, bring out the best in us in terms of creativity, you know, and culture. It was great. It was competitive and it was healthy, so I, I liked it. And it was a learning forum for me too. I learned a lot. Hmm, that's good to hear. You are really creative, trust me. You know, because I can't see myself going that far to compete with people I don't even know. That was very, very creative of you. Thank and you. you went this far to come to this. I really envy you, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about this. I don't know if it's a rumor or something, <laughs> but I must ask you, you know, we had you sign this contract with the France designers or... We are about to <laughs> sign the contract, not yet. It's actually a collaboration of creativity, um, culture and fashion, where my designs are going to be taken over to France for them to see what we have or what we wear here in Africa. But we're still putting finishing touch to the contract. Oh my God! This is wonderful! <laughs> Remember me, your paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, you see, I'm really enjoying myself. I don't know about you. You see what I'm wearing? She made this, and I'm looking really good in it. Am I? 
Yes, I know I am. Even if you tell me I'm not. Okay, viewers, we're really going to go on a very short break now. But please don't go nowhere because we're coming right back. Cha cha. Bye. <laughs> You see, the lesson we have to learn here is not just for you, it's for every parent to be patient and look very well to discover the talent in their children and encourage it. Hmm? Stop crying. Stop. How can I face her? She will face her as it's your daughter. You brought her into this world. Hmm? She will listen to you. So much. I've not treated you well all these years, my dear. I've wronged you. Never believed you knew what I've done. Please forgive me, my dear. Come on. Come on. What have I done, God? What have I done? Oh, my daughter. Welcome. Oh, come on. Mommy, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, please forgive me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my dear. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this my destiny? destiny? Am I meant to fail? Is this my destiny? destiny? I can't take this anymore. Is this my destiny? destiny? Am I meant to fail? Is this my destiny? destiny? Oh God. Hear my cry, is this my destiny? It's heart rending, it's so hot in When you're trying all in vain I've had no one, I've done no wrong It's just 
trust me in my destiny Oh no, oh yeah I'm sorry mama, sorry papa My sister forgive me My best, I try my best. It's all about my destiny. Oh, tell me, is this my destiny? Destiny.